We both know this could have been forced. We've been through this before. Darling, every single document was in order. Well, once they got the record from the hospital, it would have been easy to get the other records issued. I thought about that. I've put in a call to the doctor in Paris who delivered Rick's baby. He's going to call me back. But let's be realistic about this. Chances are he's not going to say anything different than what's on those documents. Well, you told me to trust my feelings. And all I know is how I felt when I heard the baby crying on the phone. Sweetheart, when you made that call, what did you want to hear more than anything in the world? Our baby. You held that baby in your arms. Wouldn't you have known if it were Adriana? I don't know. We'll know more when we hear back from the doctor. I just think it'd be foolish to get our hopes up when we have so much evidence saying it can't be true. I just don't want to give up. I'm not going to give up either. But no matter how angry Rick was with me, I can't believe my own brother would steal our baby. Well, maybe he didn't know it was not Jan. Maybe he, he just wanted to adopt a baby. You know, people can get so desperate sometimes. Not when desperate enough to produce all these documents to cover their trade. Besides, we have a lead. We have reason to believe that she's in the States, somewhere between Eugene and San Francisco. That's a legitimate lead. Or maybe she's at Rick's house. I still believe that. I don't. I'm sorry. I can't buy that. So what am I supposed to do about the way I'm feeling? All of these things I'm seeing. Sure, we'll get some. You just have to be patient. Castillo. Yeah? Great. Well, what, when did they spot him? Uh huh. Who was backing him up? Yeah, well, where. Yeah, that figures. Uh, okay, well, have him give me a call, will ya? Yeah, just, uh, no, t tell him they can't make a move yet. <laughs>